Less than three weeks ago, the PC hockey team didn't even know if they'd get into the NCAA tournament. Here they were tonight with a chance to etch their name in the history books and add a banner to the rafters in Schneider Arena. Players in their first championship game in 30 years, the Friars faced off with Hockey East for BU for all the marbles. To the garden we go. Friar faithful out in support. BU, of course, led by Cranston native David Quinn. First period after a power play. Kale PC on the attack. Nola Chari hits the post. Anthony Florentino there on the rebound. One-timer makes it one nothing. Providence still in the first. Back come the Terriers. A.J. Greer throws it on net. Ashti Oskinen squeezes it inside the post. That ties the game at one. Ensuing faceoff, BU sprints out. Jack Eichel to Daniel O'Regan. PC caught sleeping four seconds after the tying goal. Terriers now jump on top two to one. Second period. Friars on the power play. Trevor Mingoya draws the defense, leaves it for Mark Jankowski. Slap shot score. We are tied at two. Third period, PC in desperation mode. Kyle McKenzie throws it on net. Matt O'Connor has it, but drops it for the incredible goal. Take another look. O'Connor has it, but he doesn't realize it. He drops it. This game is tied at three. BU fans can't believe it. Two minutes later, off the faceoff, Jankowski to Brandon Tanev, shoots and scores. That makes it 4-3 PC. Minutes ago, BU pulls the goalie on the doorstep, but check out the diving save from John Gillies in net, so clutch down the stretch. There it is, PC wins its first ever hockey championship, 4-3 over BU. The Friars are on top of the hockey world. Our Mark Dondero was at tonight's game and joins us now live at the TD Garden with all the excitement. Mark. Well said, Yanni. When the NCAA hockey tournament began, Providence was the 15th seed out of 16 teams. That was after they got upset in the Hockey East tournament by UNH. But somehow they rallied together, rattled off three wins against NCHC teams, many of whom calling that league the best in college hockey in America. And then, oh yeah, as a reward in the national championship game, well, they got the best regular season team in Hockey East, featuring the best college hockey player in America, Hobie Baker award winner Jack Eichel. A historic night for Providence and the state of Rhode Island. I don't even know how to describe it right now. It was just an unbelievable couple weeks with the guys. We all believed in each other and uh, we found a way to get it done. All our work, hard work over the last couple years has paid off. It means everything. Bringing this back to Providence is just a great feeling. Knowing that I'm a Rhode Island guy, I, I words can't explain how, how good it feels. It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's special. It's indescribable right now, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll hit me sometime soon, but uh, at the moment we're just enjoying it with this wonderful team. I mean, it was a great game of college hockey. I'd just like to congratulate BU on a heck of a season. They're a great team, and I mean, I don't even know. It's just we played a great game, and we were fortunate to stick around, and at the end we got a lucky bounce, and then we found the winning goal. I'm just so proud of the players. Uh, they stuck with it. Uh, I thought BU really had us on our heels for, you know, the first period and a little bit after that, and um, it's kind of like our season. You know, we started out slow, and... And, uh, and we were struggling a little bit, and then, you know, we, we just got better as the game went on.